Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way! And today we're going to take apart the MSP to waterproof it and we're going to fit a pretty beefy off-road tire to it. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. So listen guys, I bought the MSP to be the ultimate fun machine, off-road machine, jump machine, just to later found, find out that the axles on the RS are actually way more stronger than on this one. But nevertheless, I bought it, so I want to send it. I already got the shell for it, which is the Mono Customized Shell. You can check them out on Instagram, uh, which will protect this wheel, because as we know, especially the MSP shells are not the strongest shells. I got them sent, sent for free, but I actually did buy the Monster Pro shell, which will be for the Monster Pro. For a discounted price, but nevertheless, I paid for it. I uh, also mounted the shred lights here. There's also a shred light here on the bottom, which is now not there because it would be squish, squished, but very well visible. And the Nilanova, of course, torque pads, my favorite pads for now. Uh, so yeah, indeed, this will be a off-road monster. But I rode it with Kate recently in a very light drizzle, um, just on like basically wet surface. A little bit of rain was there, but it was soaked wet on the inside. So today we're going to take it apart, um, silicone the shit out of it, <laughs> put some uh, tape where it needs to be. And yeah, I also need a name for it. So if you have any name, uh, any name idea for this wheel, it's gonna be stunt wheel, I don't know, like a wheel that will be just thrown around and be beaten the hell out, out of it. Suggest them in the comments below and maybe I'll choose your name for the MSP. With that said, uh, tire is C803, it was suggested to me by Wukash and he got the su suggestion on the uh, electricunicycle.org forum on Facebook, so I'm gonna fit it into the wheel, hopefully it will work well. C803, 14 by 2.5 inches, uh, will hopefully give a little more traction than the original CSD tire. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna show you the entire uh, disassembly process. I'll cut the chase to um, the interesting bits because there's already a RS teardown on the channel. Um, so we might check that out. I'll just show you how I waterproof all the important parts on the MSP. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so progress is coming along pretty nicely. I've removed the outer shells. I removed all the screws here connecting the L hanger. We can see still quite a bit of dust and um, I don't know, small pieces of mud uh, that are still in here, which I'm gonna clean out a bit later. I'm also gonna check the motherboard seal around it and probably change it out. I removed the batteries because that makes everything a lot easier to work with on both sides. Here I can see that the actual battery cases dig into the plastic a bit too much. So I'm gonna put some tape over here to prevent that from happening. Now the shell is already easily opening up and I'm gonna take a peek on these all inside compartments here, these ones. And we're gonna also change the tire. And now that I've seen it, I also need to clean off the motherboard maybe just a bit because there's loads of sand on it. As you can see, uh, I'll try to vacuum it off. Shell is out, time to change that tire. Stock tire has been removed. I put a bit of um, dish soap here. I know it's not the best method because it leaves some residue, but it makes it just a hell lot easier to get this tire off. Tube in place, now let's get this on. And after a very short 20 minutes, uh, exhausting fight with the tire, I made it. Woo! All right, so we managed to separate the two shells of the MSP. Uh, no tape in between here on the wheel well, so we can see quite a bit of dust here, water, really lots of it here here as well. So probably most of the water went in just through this crease here. So I'm gonna put uh, some tape here on the inside. I'll try to also 
seal off the light since it uh, doesn't have any seal here in the front. Also a small seal here around the charge port unit. There's no seal here either way. Uh, I mean either all around this crease here uh, around the backlight and hope then it will be fine. So let's do that. And I'm also going to silicone these lights off because here somewhere is a channel that goes to the inside. So this will be all gooped off as well as on the back. Okay, so I have taken the operation outside uh, because it was smelling like silicone a lot. So all of this is now siliconed up. The RGB lights, if they break, I don't care. I don't need them that much for jumping. Um, so here underneath the light has been sealed on this side and on this side as well. And now I'm gonna make a whole strip around the whole top, merge the two shells together because I can still put the motor in if they're even like merged together. And then I'm gonna put a layer of tape here on this upper side, which is very, very important. It will get, uh, it will stop any dirty water. Like, you know, here's all the traces of dirty water from the wheel well uh, from getting inside of the wheel. This should be done out of factory. I can't stress enough. If you want to have a methods of, method of transportation that is meant for the outside, I mean, this isn't even like puddle proof. This just looks at rain and it gets wet. It shouldn't be like that. All right, so I managed to seal off most of the cracks here outside. So this is now sealed off, but just to show you guys, here is the crease between the two shells. And it's like actual tolerance is there. So first crash you have, this might get open. Even without a crash, it might be not perfectly assembled. So it's very, very, very important to put tape there uh, because this will prevent a lot of water from getting in, even if it's not raining. So you just need to go in the puddle or have damp ground and this will lead to water getting in. All right, so the tape has been inserted, even a couple more layers. So this will prevent any water from the wheel well spraying into the shell. Now the two shells are already mated together. Um, Yep, so oh, let me just put that back. <laughs> um, so everywhere around the parts where the shells meet, there's no silicone. Everywhere, it doesn't look, you know, the prettiest, but it will be very functional. So now I'm gonna just wait it out a bit because <laughs> silicone makes everything very dirty. Uh, I'm just gonna put the trolley handle in, which is just a handle. I have no plans on replacing the trolley handle, as you can see here. I'm just gonna silicone it in place and yeah, we'll call that a day. <laughs> now everything has been closed off. I'll just wait like half an hour for the silicone to dry. Um, then we'll seal off the motherboard and then we'll be slowly getting back to reassembling the wheel. After a bit of drying, we're back in the process. Uh, here the back seal had some, um, the control board seal had a bit of like debris on it. So it's holding up pretty good, but I don't think it's the best solution. So I'm just going to take it out and yes, more silicone. Silicone has been applied. And interestingly enough, I also have threads in my motherboard. So that's very nice. So the build is coming along very nicely. We already have the motor and the tire installed, the L hangers. Uh, everything is pretty much sealed. Uh, now I need to put some thread locker onto these screws because they screw into metal uh, and then I'm gonna close it off and give it a test in the shower without the batteries and we will really see what's up with that. So I managed to seal off the whole thing basically as far as I can for the water test. Now I don't want to seal this outside panel off because uh, I'll put the batteries in again later on so there might be some leakage there but I don't think it will be a too much. Same thing applies here for speaker holes. I also forgot one screw from the trolley handle unit and there's like a 
whole nail, but it's all, I think, very, very minor things. So I'm just gonna let it dry a bit more and then we'll throw it into the shower, see what the result is after, I don't know, like five minutes of intense water. All right, so the silicone dried off, I think, enough to, yep. Now I know this is not like one of the most accurate tests because like I'm not riding it and obviously the water stream can't go everywhere. But hopefully this will give us an idea of how things are going here. All right, let's get it done. And the moment of truth. Okay, so as I expected, just a bit here on the lower side because of the lack of any um, seal here on the outside, but other than that, pretty, pretty solid. Let's also check out the other side. That's basically why. <laughs> And on this side, just one droplet here, nothing else. Same reason this seal is not too good. So either way, if there was a small bit of water inside, we know the culprit. Oh, here it's still wet. Uh, so the silicone here didn't get dry enough. Uh, so that's why it maybe came through the outside of the shell. One of the biggest culprits seemingly is this little crease and this little crease. So yeah, we'll just put silicone everywhere around everything and it'll be great. All right, so the beast is fully assembled now. I'm not 100% satisfied with the waterproofing test I did before, so I'll let it dry. I put silicone all around the edges here, all around the edges, so it should be fine. Tomorrow we'll redo the test uh, with the waterproofing, open up the silicone and re-silicone it, because that's really what I have to do. But this will give me the peace of mind I need with uh, the MSP and its waterproofing. So now I'm gonna take, take it out for a spin, See how the offer tire fares a bit, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Tire helps. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Um, now all the silicone has dried off in the meantime, so now we'll do the real test uh, for some reason. I think I disconnected a uh, wire inside of the wheel, so uh, now the front light doesn't work. And I think it's just a wire that somehow, somehow got disconnected by accident. Uh, anyhow, I have this tape here on the bottom, I mean on the top, because anyways, uh, I'll have some sort of flap here to protect the charge port. Uh, and here on the back, I have also tape, same reason. Uh, I want to have the hole here in the back, which is in front of the trolley handle, just covered up. Uh, but other than that, everything is dry, and now it will take another bath.
All right. So, it definitely works. And now we'll see if there's any water inside. All right, so I found the culprit here for the water that was here on the wire and going down here. Essentially here, I feel uh, that water was coming in maybe here through the trolley handle. So I need to just use a bit more silicone here around this area, really like close it off, seal it off, and then we'll call this MSP sealed. I'll just for the shits and giggles, I'll open up the other side too, see if it's clean there, should be. Uh, and yeah, will be cool. All right, so on the other side, also a very small amount of water here. Like compared to the typhoon that was happening and same story coming in through the trolley handle slot here. So probably once again, I need to Tighten this area a bit up, the trolley handle on the top, maybe some more things around here, things around here. But that is the area where the water is coming from. There ain't really anything here in the front. So it has to be here in the back. So yeah, with that said, I will call this actually a success because um, for the levels of water that were like, it, it, I was using the most powerful nozzle in the shower to uh, let the water get in. The amount is uh, very, very low. So I will seal off here in the back. I didn't get a chance to try the tire too much yet, so I'll probably show it off in a different video to you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this little DIY um, episode. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.